Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your friendly neighborhood book prof, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea PC Blind. When we last left off, uh, we pretty much just finished the last chapter, and I haven't really done anything since. Um, I'm probably going to be going and mostly doing it off screen. Just last two days have been busy, so yeah. Uh, really, the one more important thing I wanted to point out is actually from the last episode. I was talking how about Shiva seemed to be on a little bit of the weak side. <laughs> well, that's mostly because I haven't really updated her equipment. It's not just level here; it's equipment that we also have to take into consideration. And I haven't touched hers in a long time. So once I get a little bit more cash, since my spending cash is actually a little bit low, especially with all the new items, I will go and deck her out. But until then, um, I'll just try to keep her as far out of the fight as possible. Me? Okay, hang on. Zombie. Or zombie. What kind of hint do you have for us? Okay. Lunar Snowfield. Prinnies are there. Yeah, that's kind of a direct thing. Yeah, I know, and he just says the same thing. Okay. But that's kind of a, like a direct thing, then. So we can now go to Lunar Snowfield. Theater of Death. Does he just say Lunar Snowfield? Because I wasn't paying attention. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. Alright. So let us go to Theater of Death and find out just what the Prinnies are up to. That's not the Prinnies. That is definitely not the Prinnies. Oh, hello. What are you, Cyclops? Also, I think I'm going to start leveling up. Oh, cool. It actually gives me their movement. Nice. <clears throat> I'm also going to be starting to level up a little bit more then. Considering all these guys are like in their 20s. Oh, dear lord. Oh, dear lord. Oh, my gosh. Alright, so let's see. Oh, also, it's the sad music. Why is the sad music playing? Alright. Well, let's see. Since everything here has got, like, the multiply by three thing, I basically have to bum rush up here, so throwing it is. Alright, so. Yeah, let's just get as many everybody out as possible. Continue as far into a line as I can. Actually, I don't even need to do like a full line. Really. Let's at least get Etna in on this as well. Alright, so. Lift you up. Lift you up. Lift you up. Lift you up. And lift you up. And then throw the ever loving Dickens out of them. I do it like this. I should be able to throw this on top of this and just. Aw. Thought I was gonna be able to destroy it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, oh. That was a mistake. Oh, well. Somebody's gonna die. I'm almost certain about it. Ah. 
I'm actually a little surprised. That's a dead leap. On the bright side, I actually have the ability to, like, kill this thing now. Oh, wow, it's still alive? Okay. There we go. Now I'm not having to worry about you guys anywhere near as much. Uh, first thing, Laharl, heal yourself, because you're in, like, in desperate need of this. And let's see, King should start being able to myrtleize these guys. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Also, holy heck, the heal does nowhere near as much as I thought it would. I mean, it makes sense, Laharl's intelligence is not that high, but still. I guess there was a little point of having him to learn heal in the first place. Dodgy dodgy ninjas, gotta love them. Alrighty then. Actually, a Harl special blade rush. So let's go ahead and move King back here. So we can do a special blade rush, kill you two. And you can do... Wait, King of Beasts? Oh, okay, so I have to land over there. Alright. I'll check that out next time. Until then, you go ahead and do that. See, Cooper, you move back here. Because you should still be able to shoot him. You guys are all in a line. I want to be able to do something, but I don't have enough for anything useful. I mean, I could... Actually, do I have a sword I can give purple here? That's like halfway decent. That would be a no. Oh, crap. I didn't even realize I never even equipped a horse wiener or anything else. Oh, well. Just start murdering them one by one in a line, I guess. Hmm. Do I want to risk putting the negative 50 on here? I mean, on the one hand, that would work against every enemy and make them a little bit easier to take down. Especially the Cyclopses. Holy hell! 728 defense? Are you kidding me? Um, you know what? Uh, let's see how much the actual physical damage works against those guys. Because those guys just might be, uh, we must fight you with magic only. No, the resistance is still that high, too. Alright, and us actually stay back up there just in case, hun. Alright, that's cute. There we go. Might have to actually go ahead and have them out. Put the weaknesses on. Uh, can you heal from here? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, get Laharl up then. Perfect. That's gotta be one of the sillier moves in this game. Especially considering you can stomp on your own allies to hurt me. Jeesh. Actually, what are you weak to? Wind? That's actually what I gotta go get Maddie to learn. Move. Kill. Oh, did you guys all move because I pulled out frickin' Maddie? I'm gonna test this. Maddie, go back in there. And Laharl, let's see how you do against this guy and his massive defense. Right, Here I come. Ha! 
Oh my god. Why do these guys have such ridiculous defense? Jesus. Alright, I guess I kind of have to put out the defensive thing here. Alright, so lift that and throw. So now everything should be affected by negative defense. Us included, I know, but it's better than the alternative of having to spend half an hour to kill these two frickin' guys. See, th those guys gonna move back. Well, some did. Yeah, that's a lot better on damage now. Alright, uh, King, let's get you up there. As close as you can get. Alright. Well, let's just do Hurricane Slash again. You guys are going to continue moving forward. Alright, let's do Skull Splitter here. And Etna, you can join in on attacking this guy. Actually, I'm going to let you have the final blow, considering Cooper's still so far ahead of y'all. Ah! Ah! Oh god, yeah, that's a marked improvement. That is so much better. Ah, dang, so close. I think Cooper might not live. Actually, that guy is like either... I think that's a stun thing for him. So Cooper might survive this next round. Since you guys are going to continue moving, I might as well pull out some of the others. Um, Let's get Mason out. Because him and Guts could use this. And get Shiva out. Yeah, especially with that guy being weak to ice. Alright, and Flan, let's get you out too. Ooh! Nice! <laughs> I love it, it's like, pardon me, pardon me! <laughs> Alrighty then. Though not all of or all, the, all that strong, considering A, two of these guys are frickin' uh, magic users, and B, the fact that frickin' Shiva's still, like, super under-equipped. Alright, let's actually move you back up here. I still need to learn better how the whole thing works when it comes to status effects. Because I know status effects are actually determined a bit by your actual equipment because there are some enemies and excuse me not enemies there's still some uh like people on in your weapons and equipment that will give you status effects to cer certain ways but does that mean i just have to go and put them onto my weapons and i would automatically like have a higher chance of poison or pro sleep or whatnot have you i don't really know all I really know so far is that, like, if I were to really want to do heavy status effects, um, arrows, um, and bows and arrows are actually one of the better weapons to do it with. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and use fire on you. Actually, since you're weak to fire up here, let's do this. Get Flan a little bit of experience. I think that's actually it for now. Yeah. Fight. 
Kasei! There's an enemy! There's something from a game that I'm reminded of when I look at the frickin'... Thousand Eyes are struck! That's it! I knew it looked something like that. Neat. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Move Guts back here. Let's have Etna finish you off. And you attack that. Awesome. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Uh, let's actually move you over here. Oh, really? That's not far enough? There we go. Perfect. Alright, Lich leaves us really only having to worry about you, Sunny Jim. The hell? Why didn't you move? Alright, let's go ahead and... Ooh! Let's see this. Colossal Fisher. Nice! I've noticed, uh, though, that almost all my axe abilities are, like, single target. I wonder if that's their specialty. They're best at taking down one enemy at a time. Alrighty, then. And you know what? We've got the time. Let's go ahead and actually have a bit of a longer episode as well. If it does take us that long. So with that, let's go ahead, move on to the next chapter. Lunar Snowfield, and let's go into the Frigid Garden. Ooh. Hey! Hey! Listen! Hey, you! I don't think they're gonna pay attention to Yellow Harl. Uh, me? Oh, we're talking to Flan? Yeah, you! Uh-oh. You really don't know anything about the Prinnies? Uh, no. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. You've been acting weird ever since this morning. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, Jesus. Really, Flan? What's this also thing about love and kindness and respect and all that crap? What? <laughs> I love that face. Prince Laharl, I have a name and it's Flan. Yeah, we haven't really heard Laharl call her by her name much, have we? It's not hey or you. You have never called me by my name, not even once, since the first time we met. She's got a point. Yeah, they actually haven't done that. S so, what's it to you? Is it because it's an angelic name? People's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Mm -hmm. Laharl, you are too inconsiderate. You should approach people with more love. He's a demon, hon. The Prinnies ran away because you have no love. Uh-huh. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. <laughs> You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. Ugh! What do you know about being an overlord? Forget it, I'm not talking to you anymore! Interesting. Okay, got a bunch of these guys in a row. Oh, upgraded versions. A lot of... wait, what? What? Why are these guys so low level? Why are... What? Why are there... Wait, why are there so many that are low leveled? What? I'm confused. Okay, um... 
I almost don't want to attack these guys. Not for, like, lack of not wanting to actually, like, level up or anything, but... Especially after that, what Flan just went through with frickin' Laharl. I almost want to say these guys are, like, families almost, like, protecting their children considering low levels. I don't think the game would do that, but... Uh, I don't know. Um... Alright, I guess we'll just get some of the others out. Because, really, it's like, just an attack here. Boom, he's gonna die. So, yeah. Uh, let's see if the game treats it as normal. Now they're treating everything as normal, so... Maybe I'm overthinking about it? I really hope I am overthinking about it. Uh, yeah, let's do Asteroid Drop. It makes me think... It's like I kind of don't... You know what? No. Flan, I, if that is the case, I'm not having you even participate in this. Alright, let's have you go over there, King. Guts in here as well. Because I'll actually get experience from a 32. Healing just in case. And. Because you were super. Actually, no. Actually, Maddie, we're going to have you over here. Get Shiva in here. Because Shiva's the lowest behind. And while I'm not going to really spend a lot of time trying to level her up here. Any experience is going to help out. Let's end turn. There goes them. Alright, special. King of Beasts. Let's check this out. <laughs> he DBZ'd his ass! That was hilarious! It's like, first it was like a Shoryuken, and then he was like, just disappeared and reappeared behind him like something out of Dragon Ball Z. Alright, so Brock and... and... Let's go ahead and get... Mega Heal... So now I've got a question, because I'm curious. Because as we know now, um, since like there's higher upgraded versions of certain specials, like we have the Mega Ice here, and frickin' Maddie can learn Mega Ice, is there actually any point in learning the lower level spells? I mean, other than having to get through those first initial chapters. Because it doesn't seem like there's any point to learning the lower level spells once the higher ones become available. I don't know. Um, none of you guys can move. Actually, uh, yeah, let's... Let's actually just have you come out here. And then... <laughs> Stomp. 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 Holy crap! Okay, I know Shiba is like severely, severely under-equipped, but I wasn't expecting the single stomp to kill her. Jesus. Alright, so let's go here. So you're, uh, to be fair, he's the 32 one and Shiva's like what? 19. So to be fair, that's actually me more being stupid. Alrighty then. 
you know what? Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do ice. Not the off chance. There we go. This is probably suicide for you, Mason. Actually, one, two, four, sixteen, eight. So yeah, you should actually be perfectly fine. E. I actually wonder if this might be a good area for leveling. If only because you're able to, like, just toss the monsters on top of each other and have so many of them actually... Oh, that's movement that it blocks. Okay. That, uh, you're able to just go and power up. Uh, unfortunately, Mason's dead here, I think. There's not much I can do. Because... Actually, no, Shiva can reach him in time. Uh, Shiva. Uh, frickin', uh, Maddie. Alright, so Laharl... You go up there. Yeah, because it's the stronger guys that are going to be attacking you first. And let's do Blade Rush. There we go. I think we're good here, because Laharl can just eat all those guys. And to be fair, I actually need to get Laharl caught up a bit. I love it when enemies go and kill their own frickin' allies here. Right, you defeat boss. Laharl, another Blade Rush. Etna, you can take care of this guy up here. Hedwig! It's not a snowy owl, I don't think it counts. You know what? Let's do Blade Rush for you too. There we go. Yeah, I think about it, there's actually no real way I can get around killing these guys and ending this mission, is there? So yeah, I think the game was just making me rethink it, or just, they were just deciding to do something silly. That said, I'm telling you all right now, I'm actually going to do an alternate save, just in case it turns out I'm wrong. Alright, let's have Lahana get the last blow in here. Actually, now let's give it to Etna. She needs to experience a little more. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing bad by the all appearances. I guess they decided wanted to have weird levels there. Oh well. With all that said and done, folks, I um, think we're done for now. So we're gonna see you next time when we actually go back in. And hopefully find the prennies this time when we go into the freezing souls. Until next time then, everyone, take care.